everyone. So I'm here to solve a problem, okay, in convention circuit with eight resistors. So actually it was solved before na sa naunang topics natin. But I would like to thank Ms. Eliza de Guzman of BS Architecture na ni-remind ako na sabi ko kasi I would be showing a solution dito. Okay, so narin sabi niya kanina, so I'm uh, going to solve the problem now. So although some of you got the correct answer before, maganda rin that I will be reviewing this problem para magamit natin in the next topics okay para mas maliwanag okay so i think the, uh, the problem is familiar okay so it has eight resistors each resistor has a value of one ohm okay so we're going to look for the total resistance total voltage total current and of course the individual voltages and currents of each uh, components of the circuit okay so the first thing to do uh, din rowing ko na siya no para medyo mabilis ng konti and uh, kind na uh, three steps lang siya is medyo malaki pa rin so hindi makita yung sa iba ba so i'll be bringing the camera down na lang mamaya okay so pardon din ko medyo malabo yung cam this webcam is uh, i wasn't really using this webcam na medyo matagal-tagal na kaya medyo malabo siya but hopefully you could see pa rin yung mga values o so, mamalit sila kasi as you know mahaba yung solution okay so mayroon pagkasahin dito sa board. Okay? So, first is you're given the values of resistances, each having a 1 ohm value, okay, dito sa problem. Okay, so you're given the total voltage of 6 volts, okay? So, the first thing to do is to compress the diagram and solve for the total resistance. Now, total resistance is 2 ohms, okay? So, ang unang tanong, paano ba nakuha yung 2 ohms, okay? So, first, ano ba dapat mong i-compress? Okay, so we cannot compress these five resistors na to since uh, R2, sorry, R1 and R4 are in series as well as R3 and R5 are in series, okay? But these two series circuits are in parallel with R2 which is 1 ohm. So, ang first mo pwedeng gawin is you could get the summation of R1 and R4 and then we have R3 and R5. So, in this case, pagsamay natin is that they are in series sa connection. So, in series circuit resistance are added lang. Okay, so we have 1 ohm and 1 ohm, 1 ohm and 1 ohm. We have RA equal to 2 ohms and we have RB equal also to 2 ohms. Okay, I think that's clear. So, naging isa-isa na lang sila. Okay, now we could still combine R7 and R8. Okay, so pareho silang 1. Okay, now I think you know the formula for solving two resistors in parallel is just R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So in this case, it is... 1 times 1 divided by 1 plus 1. Okay, so I'll be writing the formula lang dito sa tabi. So it is R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So therefore, it is R1 times R2, that is 1 times 1, okay, that, that is equal to 1. So I'll give you value nito, that is equal to 1. And then all over R1 plus R2, in this case R7 plus R8, sorry, yes, R8. <clears throat> So, 1 plus 1, it is equal to 2. Yun. So, it is 1 half or equals siya sa 0 0.5 ohms. Okay, that will be your R sub C. So, your RA is yung summation of R1 and R4. Ayun, that is 2. And then your RB is the summation of R3 and R5, which is 1 and 1. That is equal also to 2. Now, itong dalawa, since hindi sila, hindi sila add, no? they are in parallel in combination nila. So, you're going to use this formula. R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Okay, so we have 1 times 1 all over 1 plus 1. That is 1 over 2 or 0 0.5, 1 half. Okay, so yun yung value niya. Okay, so wait, let me get my eraser. Okay, now, so the next step will be solving for these three resistors. Okay, so you have 2, 1, and 2 na value. That will be your RD since RC to, no? So RD. I hope this part is efficient na pag magsasolve lang. Okay? So, sa long method, it is 1 over R total, but you can use your calculator, straight na siya doon. Okay? So, it is 1 over R total, that is equal to 1 over yung value niya, 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 and so on. So, you have 2, 1, and 2. So, it is 1 over 2 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2. So, getting the least common denominator, which is 2. So, 2 divided by 2 times 1, ah, ganun lang naman siya, no? 2 and 2, that is 1. Plus 2 divided by 1 is 2 times 1, that is 2. Plus 2 divided by 2 times 1, that is 1. So you get 4 over 2. Now, ang answer mo dito is 2, but hindi pa yun yung answer mo actually. Kasi it is 1 over our total, so you get the reciprocal. So it is actually 2 over 4. So 2 over 4 is still 1 half or 0 0.5 ohms. Okay. So the value for RA, 
R2 and RB when they are combined in parallel is equal to 2 over 4 or equal to 1 half or 0 0.5. So, ayun, that is your RD. So, combining these three, you get RD. Okay? So, I'll be erasing it. I, I, uh, discussion is quite fast since uh, I know I, I have I've discussed this before. Okay, so it's just a review. Okay, so I'll bring the camera a little bit down a little bit for you to see the lower part. Beyond. Okay, so we know now that the combination or parallel parallel connected the RA R two and R sorry S R two and R B so value nila is zero point five. Okay, yung R6 mo may E1. Okay, dito yung R6 mo na will retain. Ayun, 1 ohm. And of course, yung RC. Okay, yung dalawang nakaparel na to kanina. So, kinumbay na is 0.5. So, RD is 0.5, R6 is 1, and RC is 0.5. So, they are connected now in series. Series circuit na siya. So, pwede lang silang pag-add. Okay, so meaning you have 0.5 plus 1 plus 0.5, that is 2 ohms. Okay, so that's the value for the total resistance, which is 2 ohms. So I'll be writing it here on top. This is your R total. This is 2 ohms. Okay, so solving for the total current, you have 6 volts given. Yeah, 6 volts are given. So it is only E divided by R. So you get 3 amperes. So 3 amperes here is your I total. Okay, so I'll write it here. 3 amperes. Okay, so we have 2. Now, it's going back. Okay, so meaning alam mo na to. Now, this resistor will be breaking into three resistors. So, pag nag-break siya, pag ganyan, so it is a still a single circuit. So, isa lang yung flow ng current mo. So, therefore, series circuit to. So, naman ang current nito, this R total, will be the current of these three resistors. Okay, so ibig sabihin, if it is 3 amperes, dahil nag-series siya, which is constant ang current, kita mo naman eh, kahit mag-break pa yan ng ilan, isang ikot pang current mo, so ito naman isang ikot, kahit mag-lima pa yan, mag pa yan, ang current mo is isang ikot lang siya. Okay, so isang, uh, kung baga constant siya. So, pare-pareho ang values nila. Okay, so you have here, your ID now is 3 amperes, your I6 is 3 amperes, hopefully you could see kahit medyo malik lang, na? and of course, your IC is 3 Amperes. Okay, so you're given now, you have the value for resistances and your value for current. So, pwede ka na mag-solve mga voltages mo. So, for ED, you have 0.5 multiplied by 3. So, you have 1.5 volts. Okay, dito rin, oh, it is 3 volts. It is 3 times 1, so you have 3 volts. And finally, 0.5 or 1 half multiplied by 3, it is 1.5 volts. Okay, so this part is complete. Now, meron na tayong R6. No? You don't have to write it here pa. Okay, kasi pareho lang naman ang value. We could write it na dito sa ating main problem. Okay, so your voltage is 3 volts and your current is 3 amperes. Okay, so that is your current value. Okay, now, nandito na tayo, pupunta tayo doon. Okay, kaya lang pag tinask ko yung camera, kaya remember that here, sa baba tayo, na, sa baba tayo. Unahin ko na to, since yung mga wala. Okay? So, yung EC and IC mo are the same. Okay? Hindi pa lang naman dito. Okay? Ang uh, EC and IC. Now, dito tayo para mas nakikita pa to. Huli ko na yung nasa taas since that yung camera is papanig ko na naman. So, para kita itong parehong nasa baba. So, meaning, your RC here breaks down into two resistors. Okay? Now, the connection of the resistors are in parallel. Okay, therefore, what is constant na parallel circuit? Voltage is constant. Meaning, whatever the voltage of this RC here is equal to the voltages of R7 and R8. Okay, so you have 1.5 volts for this resistor, meaning pareho din ito. Since ang break niya is parallel. Okay, so you have 1.5 volts and 1.5 volts. Okay, so meron ka ng resistance and meron ka ng voltage. So you can solve for the current. It is E divided by R. So it is 1.5 divided by 1. Okay, that is equal to 1.5 amperes and 1.5 amperes. So, so far we got the value for R7 and R8 and R6 and of course a total current and a total resistance. Okay, so papanik ko yung comes in the left for you to see. It's quite hard na kung malit yung ating area for solving. Yan, okay, kita pa rin yung values. Okay, so kita pa naman. Okay, so dito tayo sa RD. Okay, now your RD breaks into three. 
Okay, tatlo. Now, ang RD mo na yan, from 1 resistor to 3 resistors, anong circuit sila? They're connected in parallel. Therefore, your constant is your voltage. Okay, since ang break niya is pagano. Okay, so meaning whatever the voltage value of RD is the voltage of each of the resistors here. So your RA now, wait, I don't think my mic will reach. Okay, so your RA now is equal also to 1.5 volts. And your E2 is 1.5 volts. And your EB is 1.5 volts. Okay. So you're given your resistances and you have your voltages now. You can solve for the currents. Okay. So your uh, I here, IA, sorry, IA. Ang hindi ata kita masyado. Baka kung baba ko na lang siya dito. Okay. IA, yun. So it is 1.5 divided by 2. So that is 0 0.75 amperes. Okay, likewise dito sa baba, it is 1 only. So 1.5 divided by 1 is still 1.5 amperes. Okay, and then here it is 1.5 divided by 2. So it is 0. Point, sorry, 0 0.75 amperes. Okay. So, yung R6 mo is okay na meron tayo dito. Now, you could write the value now for your R2. So, you have here, your E2 is 1.5 volts, and then your I2 is 1. Is why? Yes, it's 2. It should be 2. Hey, wait. Ah, it's nasa ibabaw siya. Sorry. Ito pala yung 3. Okay, nasa ibabaw siya. So, E2 mo is 1.5 volts and your I2 is 1.5 amperes. Ah, okay. So, yan ba? Nakamali ako ng pagkasulat dito. Okay? So, it is 3. Diyan. Doon yung 2 mo sa taas. Okay. So, okay na dito. You have only 4 resistors left. Okay? So, your RA now, can you see it still? Ah, yes. Bising. So, your RA now breaks down into 2. Okay, so from here, naging dalawa siya, the circuit is series. Okay, therefore, whatever the current value of this resistor, which is RA, is equal to the currents of these two resistors, which is equal to 0 0.5, 0 0.75, sorry, amperes. So 0 0.75 amperes, 75A, and 0 0.75 Okay, so we just multiply to get the voltage R times I, that is your voltage E. It is 0 0.75 volts and 0 0.75 volts. Okay, so likewise, the lower half naman dito in the middle. So we have again RB breaks down into two, which is a series circuit. Therefore, consider siya naman ang current nito is the same current as R3 and R5. So this is equal to 0 0.75 amperes and 0 0.75 amperes. Okay, now solving for the voltages, it is just 1 multiplied by 0 0.75, so that is 0 0.75 volts and 0 0.75 volts. Pardon, hindi masyado maintindihan na maliit siya. Okay, so I think we got them all. Now, how do we check? Okay, so check natin pag ganito siya. So, ang papasok na current, sa total current mo is 3 amperes. So, 3 yan. So, sa parallel circuit, nag-break ang current mo, diba? So, in parallel circuit, it is uh, I1 plus I2 plus I3 that is equal to the total current. Okay? So, in this case, ang current na dumadaloy dito is 1, sorry, 0 0.75. Sa gitna, yun, it is 1.5. So, dumadali dito, yun ang kita nyo naman, no? 0 0.75 ang dumadali dyan. Constant siya, diba? So, 0 0.75. Dito naman, ang dumadali ay 1.5. And sa baba, flow na current dyan is also equal to 1.75. So, 1.75 plus 1.5 plus 0.75 is equal to 3 amperes din. So, 3 amperes ang lalabas dito. Siyempre, pag gumaba yan, Ayun, siyempre natamaan niyo yung 3 amperes pa rin yan. Okay? Now, yung 3 amperes na yan, papasok naman yung 3 amperes na yan dyan. So, magbe-break na naman sa dalawa. So, 1 here and 1 here. So, dapat total niya is 3. So, dito sa baba, ang current mo is 1.5 and then dito naman is 1.5 din. So, pag pinagaan mo yan, that is equal to 3. So, 3 ang pumasok, naghati sila. That is 1.5, 1.5. And of course, pag lalabas sila dyan, 1.5, 1.5, lalabas yan, that is also equal to 3 pa rin dapat. Okay, yeah, repeat. Pagpasok ng current mo, that is 3 amperes, they break down, it will break down into 3. So 1 is 1.5 so in the middle, 
and then 0 0.75, 0 0.75. So, yung 3 mo na yun na break into 3, tamang tama. It is equal to 3 amperes. Pag labas niya, 3 amperes siya. Pag daan niya dito, syempre, dapat kung 3 amperes yan, wala namang uh, junction. So, 3 amperes pa rin. So, may kita mo yung answer mo, 3 amperes. So, tama. Then, magpasok niya rito, it will break again into 2, 3 amperes. So, tamang tama. Ang hati niya, then gitna, it is 1.5 and 1.5. So, tamang tama rin yung papasok yung 3, ang hati sa dalawa. Pag labas niya rito, it is still 3 amperes. Okay, so that's how to, uh, parang simple checking lang naman yan. Okay, so you're familiar with the problem. It's just a review. Okay, so for those who didn't get it the first time, at least you could watch this video and then you could uh, rewind it or repeat it to some part 90 mo na Okay, so I think that's all. Okay, so hopefully uh, this video helped you to understand this problem better. Okay, so I think that's all and have a nice day. Okay, good day to everyone.